Good evening. A Perth mother has been left with whiplash, cuts and damaged teeth after a violent home invasion. The Mount Pleasant woman told Nine News she was so afraid she pleaded for her life. She's now planning to sell the home where she was attacked. The brutal confrontation left this 51-year-old with whiplash. It started when she returned home to catch the burglar in the act. What followed was a struggle through the house and onto the street, where Janine snapped this photo as the man tried to escape in her car. The terror just rumbles through you. It's just like, oh, my God. She was assaulted and thrown down three times, first in her bedroom, where he climbed on top of her. I ended up pinned on the floor with his um, gloved hand over my face and my nose so I couldn't breathe and then he just kept telling me to shut up held his hand over he goes you've seen my face so scared she begged for her life and just asked him not to kill me because I've got children and um, it was very scary I he's uh, her face was basically covered, but I could see his dark eyes and skin. Janine broke free, so the intruder ran for her car and she jumped in to stop him and retrieve her stolen property. That's when she took the picture. A lovely lady was walking past with the two children in a pram. Thank goodness she kept going, but she could see my face pressed against the glass saying, bring help, help. Janine was then thrown to the pavement and she says she realised her teeth had been knocked loose and she was bleeding. Only then did she give up the fight. The attacks left Janine sore and facing tests. She doesn't know how long she'll have to stay in this neck brace. She may lose some of her teeth and she has cuts and bruises and an injured foot. The man stole tens of thousands of dollars worth of her property. The vehicle that we're looking for is a Kia Cerato, black in colour, um, bearing reg registration plates 1GAV762. Janine and her family have only lived in their Mount Pleasant home for six months. Now they plan to move out. I just hope the judicial system, our courts, make an effort to put people like this away so our families and our children can grow up feeling a little safer. Alice Pooley, Nine News.